Hello guys, welcome to Ankit Sunil with and today I am here to give you very scientific tips and money saving tips I'll say to lose your weight. Generally we all are aware that uh, obesity is a risk factor for most of the illnesses related to your heart, uh, related to your diabetes, hypertension and cancers and lot more. But we humans are so much lazy and we do not uh, we try a little bit uh, to lose weight but again we go back to the same lifestyle which makes us uh, to gain weight. Do not worry, I have done a good research on this how to lose weight and I have tried it on myself and uh, let's start this video. Generally people tend to choose a very easy option. Even a lot of patients come to me and they ask me um, that doctor please give me some tablet to lose weight. They are not ready to do the exercise, they are not ready to control their dietary habits but everyone try to go for the easier option and we all are aware that the easier option you choose the more harm it it may it will do to your body what we do in our life is like we spend a lot of money on junk food then we spend uh, money by taking stressful jobs and having uh, habits like smoking alcohol which makes us to gain weight and then later on we spend another bulk of money on losing weight and uh, fighting the side effects of alcohol, smoking, bad dietary pattern, stress and all those things. And ultimately we are losing money in every in every different form. First we have to understand what is the idle body weight. The idle body weight is height in centimeter minus 100 equals to that whatever the number comes that should be your body weight in kg. For example if your height is 180 centimeter minus 100 that gives you a body weight of 80. So for a person who is having a height of 180 centimeter, he should have uh, bod his body weight around 80. This is an approx and a very easy way of calculation. People go for fat calculation through DEXA, impedance study and there are a lot of other ways to calculate it. But this is a very simple and easy one which everyone can follow. Now if you look at the options which are available to lose body weight, uh, one would, you would have heard of uh, taking a black coffee and generally people develop acidity to that. Generally you would have heard of people taking lukewarm water with lemon and that uh, causes burn, fat burn. This is a kind of an Ayurvedic met method, not a allopathy or a very uh, hardcore scientific method and there are not much researches available that it will result in uh, losing weight but if it suits you definitely you can do it but remember not to add any honey or sugar to it uh, generally the honey which is available in market is all are sugar syrups and the total idea is to cut down your calorie and burn calorie and if you're gonna take honey or your sugar in early morning in water that will result in gaining weight so do not try that like if you go about dieting people go about keto dieting intermittent fasting all these sorts of diets are available but these diets results in uh, your gallstone results in vitamin and mineral deficiency and cause oral ulcers gallstones so these days like intermittent fasting are very common and let me tell you uh, long-term effects of intermittent fasting has not been studied and people are not aware that what should be the exact uh, number of hours people should do whether they should do it on alternate days weekly monthly so if certain things which are not studied for longer term, whether everyone can follow it or not, that is also a different issue. So better, I won't advise intermittent fasting. Whatever diet you choose has to be suitable for you, for your occupation. Like if you're a student, if, like, if you're a homemaker or if you're a person who have a night job, then you cannot practice all sorts of these type, types of diet. And your dietary habits have, have to be also adjusted, uh, the effective way of losing weight. So the tip number one is you have to look out for the cause of your obesity whether if it is a, some medical cause like your hypothyroidism, Cushing disease or some other illness then you have to get diagnosed and uh, treat that. If your cause is your habits, if you have a habit of uh, binge eating like if you have a habit of smoking alcohol then definitely you have to quit it because that will uh, result in gaining weight. Then the third could be a type of occupation. If you have a sitting job, if you sit for a long time, like you're a driver or even a doctor, generally they sit uh, for long times on OPD. So then in between you have to take breaks and definitely you have to uh, go for a walking, running, 
and you have to look out what makes you eat more if it is stress then try to have a different sort of mechanism coping with your stress rather than having a bulk of ice creams or going out for your stress eating you have to change that thing uh, go for a meditation for management of stress then looking out for the cause of uh, obesity and addressing that that is a one of the major important uh, key intervention which you have to uh, do it the second thing is you have to delete your food delivery apps like zomato swiggy food panda etc because all these apps and capitalist people they all are working so that you go for no cooking month like you do not learn cooking and i am telling you from my personal experience i have lived a hostel life i have stayed away from home the cooking is a very important skill uh, i will say a survival skill which everyone must no learn it irrespective of their gender because uh, all these capitalist people will definitely will try to make sure that you order food from their app or your their applications and uh, that you do not learn cooking you become more dependent on your these food delivery app these apps have definitely have certain benefits and advantage but that has has to be limited you cannot be totally dependent on that they will send you reminders emails sms a uh, lucrative offers for which you will easily fall in and definitely you will start having again a eating problem you will have a more calorie intake and less calorie burn so for that definitely delete all those things unsubscribe from the uh, notifications and keep them very limited if you are dependent on them i'll advise you best is if you will save more money by deleting all these apps even if these apps shows you healthy option but nothing can be healthier than your home cooked food so if you live with a group of people then what you can do is you can hire a cook and uh, get a home cooked meal and can carry that meal in a tiffin to your office workplace because this will reduce uh, your uh, having unwanted calories and it will improve the quality of calories which you are taking what are the sources of your ex excess calorie and what are the quality for that you have to read before you eat uh, you have to always look at the pay you are buying look at how much gram of uh, sugar carbohydrates uh, fat uh, that item contains and how frequently you are taking it occasionally having certain types of food is still fine completely normal if you are repeatedly ordering food or or you have a too much of uh, these un unhealthy sources are there of your this unhealthy calories uh, you are gaining so for that you have to pinpoint them and address those calorie things uh, the the total idea and the total key point which i want to convey is that you have to reduce the un unwanted or excess calories and at the same time you have to improve the quality of calories which you are taking try to have it from grains fruits vegetables and you have to increase or you have to burn the calories with whatever you are taking this will result into weight loss um, in the diet i have already given a good uh, idea that you have to cut down your bad calories and improve your good calories uh, which comes from fruit vegetable and this uh, you have to inculcate a good dietary habits like eating slow putting down your cutlery after taking one bite chew it properly because uh, generally people overeat and that results into obesity you have to eat slow take your time do not have stress eating read before you eat and if you are having excess number of meals what you can do is you can try to take a glass of water have a fruit as a snack rather than having any fried items or having more of a uh, sugar containing snacks try to make sure that you eat less in night if because the night food results into more of a fermentation and gaining body weight and if possible if you want to skip a dinner or you want to have a light meal like you want to have some fruits or some liquid diet then you can definitely try to do that but if it does not suit to your occupation like you have a night duty and you have to remain awake at night then definitely you can't follow all these advices for burning calories what i'll suggest to you is that do not go for a gym because all these gym exercises are mostly isometric exercises and uh, lifting weight and it may not be suitable for people who are hypertensive and it it gives it puts a lot of pressure on your heart i'll advise you if you're running walking you can go for swimming these are better options and uh, better to use your community gyms like your open garden gyms are there and or parks are there use them for that you don't have to spend any money you don't have to take any membership you can go at your own time these are open this would be uh, definitely available in the urban cities the fourth important point is motivation then how you keep yourself motivated is you can buy a weighing machine and can measure it 
that being that weighing machine may have may give you a good motivation but it will it may give you a false impression like generally these may show some errors so what you can do is you can use a measuring tape like around you can measure your arm uh, circumference or your belly the important thing is belly a person should not have a belly fat these are more harmful and dangerous for a person measure the circumference of your belly at the midpoint of your lowest rib and your this pelvis you can measure it at that level and can see how much uh, centimeter have you reduced for motivation the important thing is when as soon you your friends will start noticing that you are losing weight they will start giving you a compliment that will be a big motivation so i'll now i'll tell you some common mistakes which people do is like one thing is when initially you will f- follow all these advices you will lose your body weight rapidly and then you will uh, reach a plateau phase this rapid weight loss is due to your more of a fluid loss like your water loss and uh, that will that may also result into some mild headache you know loss of concentration but after that you won't lose body weight that will uh, will take more of a hard work keep to burn your calories that is more of a plateau phase in this plateau phase do not lose hope you have to keep on working hard and then again you will go to uh, towards the uh, losing body weight generally the common mistake which people do is they go for a rapid weight loss and which is very very dangerous this rapid weight loss that may result into more of a hormonal problems gout uh, gallbladder stones a uh, nutrition uh, defi- deficiencies so you don't have to lose body weight like that the current guideline what it says is you can lose body weight 0.5 kg per week or 10% of your current body weight in 6 months that should be your duration like if you have this time frame then you will never have any side effect you have to lose the body fat not the lean body mass make sure this is the also a key important message maintaining is a very difficult task generally people lose weight uh, they uh, get around to uh, idle body weight and then again they develop the same bad dietary habits and uh, having junk food and do not burn their calories and then again they gain back the weight and then they say okay this dieting does not help or this exercise does not help the overall funda of a diet is to have a balanced diet you have small bit of everything and you will never land up into trouble or never have any health issues have a good portion of vegetables fruits uh, rice wheat everything that and maintaining that is very important uh, uh, a key important message that people say is never to have any packet item even if it is salty or if it is sugary because they will have a higher concentration of salt and sugar which is more harmful try to uh, have only three items of packet milk curd and ghee do not have uh, yeah definitely you can have ghee ghee is not harmful you can take one spoon and there is certain amount of saturated fat which should be there in your diet also and do not uh, try to have anything else more of a packet food items these packet food items have higher shelf life and ingredients which may damage your body generally the another common mistake which people do is they start go to gym or they start burning calories with that your diet and calorie intake also increases like uh, your diet you like you'll start having extra m- a number of chapatis or rice because you are going to a gym you are burning lot of calories and later on what happens this uh, like if it is a rainy season or you cannot uh, you you stop going to gym but your diet remains same that will also result into gaining body weight so you have to make sure if you are going toward more of exercise make sure you do not increase your calorie because the whole idea is to burn the calorie burn the calorie and not to increase your calorie so uh, make sure your diet remains same so follow these all these advices and let me know in the comment section whether it was helpful for you or not and uh, if you have any other advices to add on put it in the comment section i would love to go through your comments and see you guys in the next videos stay healthy and safe tata bye bye